Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Kind of cool. This is Chief Meteorologist John Nesworth for Longmont Public Media. And I've got time for one take on this, so I hope nothing goes wrong. Thursday, January 25th will be our full moon, and it is going to be beautiful. Big monster full moon. The sun is very active right now. Sunspots everywhere just going to town. Looking at drought from last week to this week, uh, we had definitely some snow and precipitation on the out in the west. So some of the northwest shrunk. Everything else kind of staying the same as happens in the winter. Looking nationally, California is almost 100% uh, drought free, as is Nevada. We have some down south, but there's a lot more water coming through the uh, southern states over the next month or so it looks like um so there should be relief there great plains definitely need some more storms but sometimes that is something that happens in the spring no smoke to speak of so don't worry about that i wish these lined up a little smoother but that takes a lot of work um so let's take a look at the snowpack as we zip through november december january and to the present you can see we got a little higher than 90%. We're at 90% statewide. The western slopes are in the 130% or 140% region where it's the eastern plains that don't have as much. So that's really good, actually. It's good news because that's where the water that we drink and agriculture and Grand, uh, Grand Canyon and Colorado River and all those get their water from. So another good year being ahead out there. Maybe I'll make that a separate slide, do a, a western slope. Uh, snowpack and a uh, state. So there's the mountain, northern mountain precipitation. But look how I can, I can see all my cities here. Just got light precipitation in Colorado Springs, and it was totally dry this last week at the lower elevations. For severe weather, being confined to the deep south and moving on to the east as that happens. Looking at the National Weather Service forecast surface map. We have mountain snows, and that just happens a lot. It's, we're in the pattern where mountain snow after mountain snow is going to keep happening. Then better snow on Thursday in the west and south part of the state. And then we get a chance of snow on Friday. Some models are about an inch or two. So check out the Longmont Leader uh, for better updates on that. I'm going to go and post an update tonight when I'm home. Taking a look at the next 10 days, though, we do have this chance of precipitation looking pretty good for Friday. Question is, temperatures. Will it be cold enough for snow or will it come in as some rain and flurries? I, I'm trying to figure that out. And then the week beyond, we go way above normal. I mean, 60s are not poss are possible. This never really captures the real temperature because we'll, we, we'll get that. But it's warm. Lots of moisture in the atmosphere over North America. Just a little breakdown here in the south. Notable weather events over the next uh, couple weeks is Friday. So this is what it looks like with the uh, partly cut off low to our southeast, pumping moisture back in, instability aloft. And looking at the temperatures, they're not very cold. This is not a monster cold front at all. So that's why temperatures and precipitation are going to be so marginal. Just not sure what we're going to get at the lower elevations. Mountains, of course, get snow. Look at this blowtorch heat in Canada and, and in the southeast. Okay, look at the precipitation. This is Friday morning. That's Friday noon. And then it kind of breaks up and goes away. Our next notable storm, it's a big break. We've got like a week and a half to go to February 6th. And... This is a monstrous trough. Look at this thing. It comes all the way down the west coast, down to southern tip of Baja, and then back into the states through Texas. And this is all massive area, low pressure. The energy, a lot of the energy is down south. Uh, looking at the precipitation, it is weird and scattery. There's definitely a lot more moisture south of us because of the position that low. So let's take a look at the next 14 days. That, this actually that goes beyond that so um, this animation won't show that storm quite but there's our friday storm moving away and then watch this ridge just come in yep high pressure you do get these little ripples that do cut through the high center here in wyoming right around salt lake got stuff 
coming out of the northwest in the eastern half of the nation. Then the ridge progresses out by February 2nd. And this next big trough that could be that storm, anything could happen. That's a long ways away for a model to have much accuracy. But it, you can see it at the last frame coming in. So temperature is just above normal. It's just everywhere. Here comes, this is the coolness with this weak end storm. There it is. <coughs> that snowpack up here. And then by the 28th, there's a cold front hitting New England, but tremendously warm here. 28, 30 degrees above normal in Canada. Temperatures here 12, 15, 20 degrees above normal. This is again snow right here. But just a blowtorch, basically, all the way out to February 2nd. And then you get the first hint of that next system bringing cool air into California. Plenty of uh, atmospheric moisture nationwide. You just need storms to act upon it. I'm not going to go much further than that. Surface dew points are low. And then after this little front comes through on Friday, we get a lot more surface dry air. You can see the whites and the purples there. So, yeah, just to say we're not going to see anything until the next, next storm. So let's watch this go through the end of the week. You can see mountain snows approaching. There's the low south of us pumping a little moisture back up for a couple periods. And that's it. Each frame is six hours. So it's about 12 hours of unsettled weather. So for the next five days, this has about an inch of snow to two, maybe even three around here. That seems a little overdone. Um, east and southeast of Denver, four to six in a little pocket. So, yeah, again, check Longmont Leader. More data will be coming in this afternoon, and I'll have maybe a better hold on that. For precipitation, brought this back in because of the marginal temperatures. The northeast corner is just going to stay dry. Moisture amounts are pretty light, except to the southeast and east of Denver. Over the next 10 days, very little gets added because it doesn't quite reach out to that next storm. So, 50s, cooling to the 40s with that storm. 44 and 22. I'm giving it 50 50 chances now and then. And then we warm up into the 60s by the beginning of next week. The uh, thought I'd include the January uh, 31st, February 6th, so the first week of um, February from the National Weather Service. Normally I do the monthly, but I'm putting this in because it is interesting. They have above normal temperatures for most of the nation, near normal out west and lots of uh, precipitation above normal amounts uh, expected for most of the western two-thirds. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. So check out longmountleader.com for frequent weather updates and great news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth made it through without an interruption, wishing you to keep looking up. <laughs>